Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question which says Let E be the set containing the elements 1 and 2 Show that the system containing the set PE union, intersection and complement is a Boolean algebra where this PE is the power set of the set E. A system consisting of the set B with operations Union, intersection, complement is a Boolean algebra if the following laws are satisfied. The first law is the closure law. Then we have the commutative law. Then next is the associative law. Then we have the distributive law. Then Identity law and next we have the inverse law. So if all these laws are satisfied then the given system is a Boolean algebra. This is the key idea that we use in this question. Let us now proceed with the solution. We are given a set E with elements 1 and 2. Then this P of E is the power set of the set E. So it would contain the elements phi, single term 1, single term 2 and the set with elements 1 and 2. This is the power set of E. We have to show that this is term consisting of the set PE, that is the power set of E, then union, intersection, complement is a Boolean algebra. So this means we will consider the operations of union, intersection and complement. First we will make the tables Corresponding to the operations of union, intersection and complement, this first table shows the operation of union. These are the elements of the power set of E. Now, phi union phi would be phi. Singleton 1 union phi would be singleton 1. Singleton 2 union phi would be singleton 2 set with elements 1 and 2 union 5 would be set with elements 1 and 2 in the same way we will fill the rest of this table so this is the table showing the operation of union now consider this table showing the operation of intersection now phi intersection phi is phi singleton 1 intersection phi is phi singleton 2 intersection phi is phi Set with elements 1 and 2, intersection phi is phi. In the same way, we will fill the rest of this table. So this is the table showing the operation of intersection. This third table shows the operation of complement. Now, complement of phi would be the set with elements 1, 2. Then complement of singleton 1 is singleton 2. Complement of singleton 2 is singleton 1 and complement of the set with elements 1 and 2 is 5. Now we will consider the laws one by one. First we have the closure law. Now consider the element singleton 1 which belongs to 
the power set of E also consider singleton 2 which belongs to the power set of E now singleton 1 union singleton 2 is equal to we observe this from table 1 singleton 1 union singleton 2 is the set with elements 1 2 this also belongs to the power set of E now consider singleton 1 intersection singleton 2 would be equal to phi we observe this from the table 2 and this also belongs to the power set of E so as singleton 1 and singleton 2 belongs to the power set of E so their union also belongs to the power set of E and their intersection also belongs to the power set E. Thus we can say for any two elements belonging to the power set of E their union and intersection also belongs to the power set of E. Thus, the closure law is satisfied. Next we consider The commutative law, in this we will check if the operations union and intersection are commutative or not. Now consider singleton 1, singleton 2 belonging to the power set of E. Now singleton 1 union singleton 2 would be equal to, from the table 1 it would be equal to, Set with elements 1, 2. Now, singleton 2 union singleton 1 would be equal to the set with elements 1, 2. This is again from the table 1. So, these two are equal. That is, singleton 1 union singleton 2 is equal to singleton 2 union singleton 1. Now consider singleton 1 intersection singleton 2 is equal to phi. This is from the table 2. Now singleton 2 intersection singleton 1 is equal to again phi. So these two are also equal. That is we have Singleton 1 intersection singleton 2 is equal to singleton 2 intersection singleton 1. Therefore, we can say for any elements A and B belonging to the power set of E, A union B is equal to B union A, A intersection B is equal to B intersection a and thus we can say that the commutative law is satisfied. Next we have the associative law consider three elements phi singleton 1 singleton 2 which belong to the power set of E first we consider phi union singleton 1 union singleton 2 the whole now this is equal to phi union 
Now for the table 1, singleton 1, union singleton 2 is the set with elements 1, 2. Now again from the table 1, phi union set with elements 1, 2 is equal to the set with elements 1, 2. Now consider phi union singleton 1 the whole union singleton 2. Now from table 1 we have phi union singleton 1 is singleton 1. Now singleton 1 union singleton 2 would be equal to the set with elements 1, 2. So these two are equal. Therefore we say that phi union singleton 1 union singleton 2 is equal to phi union singleton 1 the whole union singleton 2. Now let's see for intersection phi intersection singleton 1 intersection singleton 2 now this would be equal to phi intersection now from table 2 singleton 1 intersection singleton 2 is equal to phi so now phi intersection phi from table 2 we have this is equal to phi in the same way consider phi intersection singleton 1 the whole intersection singleton 2 now this would be equal to from table 2 we have phi intersection singleton 1 is phi so now phi intersection singleton 2 from table 2 is equal to phi again so these two are equal that is we have phi intersection singleton 1 intersection singleton 2 the whole is equal to phi intersection singleton 1 the whole intersection singleton 2. Therefore, we can say for any elements say A, B, C which belongs to the power set of E we have A union B union C the whole is equal to A union B the whole union C also A intersection B intersection C the whole is equal to A intersection B the whole intersection C. And from this we can say that the associative law is satisfied. Next we consider the distributive law and let's see if this is satisfied or not. Again we consider the elements say phi singleton 1 singleton 2 now consider phi union singleton 1 intersection singleton 2 the whole now this is equal to phi union now from table 2 singleton 1 intersection singleton 2 is phi from table 1, phi union, phi is phi. So this is equal to phi. Next we consider phi union, singleton 1, the whole intersection, phi union, singleton 2, the whole. Now from table 1, phi union, singleton 1 is singleton 1. Now this intersection, phi union, singleton 2 is singleton 2. Now from table 2, singleton 1, intersection singleton 2 is phi. So this is equal to phi. Now as these two are equal, therefore we say that phi union, singleton 1, intersection, singleton 2, the whole is equal to phi union, singleton 1, the whole, intersection, phi union, singleton 2, the whole. Next consider, next consider phi intersection singleton 1 union singleton 2 
the whole. Now, this is equal to phi intersection. From table 1 we have singleton 1, union singleton 2 is the set with elements 1, 2 and from table 2, phi intersection, the set with elements 1 and 2 is equal to phi. Now, consider phi intersection, singleton 1, the whole, union, phi intersection, singleton 2, the whole. Now, from table 2, phi intersection, singleton 1 is phi. Now, phi union, phi intersection, singleton 2 is again phi. Now, phi union phi is phi. So, these two are equal. Therefore, we observe that phi intersection, singleton 1, union, singleton 2, the whole is equal to phi intersection, singleton 1, the whole, union, phi intersection, singleton 2, the whole. Thus, we can say that if A, B and C are three elements which belong to the power set of E, then A intersection, B union C the whole is equal to A intersection B the whole, union A intersection C the whole. And A union B intersection C the whole is equal to A union B the whole intersection A union C the whole. And thus we now say that the distributive law is satisfied. Next we have the identity law. Let's see if this is satisfied or not. Consider element A belonging to the power set of E. Now from the table 1 we observe that any element A which belongs to the power set of E union phi is equal to A. Like phi union phi is phi singleton 1 union phi is singleton 1 singleton 2 union phi is singleton 2 set with elements 1 and 2 union phi is set with elements 1 and 2. And this would be also equal to phi union A. And therefore we can say that this phi is the identity element for the operation of union. Now, from the table 2, we observe that the element A intersection, the set with elements 1, 2 is equal to the set A which is same as the set with elements 1, 2 intersection, the element A. So if we take A as phi, then phi intersection, the set with elements 1, 2 is phi itself. Singleton 1 intersection, the set with elements 1, 2 is singleton 1 itself. In the same way, we can consider the other elements also. So here, the set with elements 1, 2 is the identity element for the operation of intersection. Now finally, we consider the inverse law Now consider phi belonging to the power set of E. Now complement of phi is the set with elements 1, 2. This is from the table 3. Now consider phi union phi complement. That is phi union set with elements 1, 2. Now for the table 1, we observe that this is equal to the set with elements 1, 2. That is, phi union phi complement 
is equal to the identity element for intersection and this would also be equal to phi complement union phi. So we can say for any element A of the power set E there exists its inverse A complement which belongs to the power set E such that A union A complement is equal to the set with elements 1, 2 in this case which is the identity element for intersection and this is same as A complement union A. Now consider phi intersection phi complement that is phi intersection the set with elements 1, 2 which is the complement of phi. Now from table 2 we observe that this would be equal to phi and this would also be equal to phi complement intersection phi. Now here this phi is the identity element for the operation of union. So we can say for any element A of the power set E there exists A complement which belongs to the power set E such that A intersection A complement is equal to the identity element for the operation union which is same as A complement intersection A. So we can now say that the inverse law is also satisfied. This is also called the complement law and this is satisfied. So hence as all the laws are satisfied so we can say that the system consisting of the power set E union intersection and complement is a Boolean algebra. So this completes the question. Hope you have understood the solution of this question.